So my attorney tells me that my purchase of the Kent farm is being challenged. I warned you the Kents were a tough nut to crack. I recognize Luther Corp lawyers when I see them. Why are you involved? Smallville's my home and the Kents are my friends. Oh, with friends like you, Lex. How bad? It's no worse than when Ozzy snorted that row of fire ants down in Queensland. This guy really doctor? He was. Now he's more of an on-call specialist. You know, actors, rock stars, billionaire sons. How do you know him? Long story. It's a guy I gotta do to get a drink around here. Finish sewing. Don't worry, Toby appreciates discretion. Nobody will ever know Kyle was here. Thanks. I'm curious, why did you think I'd be willing to harbor a fugitive? I figured my parents would freak, and if I took him to a hospital, they'd put him back in jail. You're the only one I could trust. I gave him something for the pain. It's lights out till the morning. My usual payment? Brown bag on my desk. See you, Toby. Thanks. You better get home, it's late. Hey, Atticus. You may want to change your shirt. Clark, can I talk to you for a moment? I appreciate you taking Ryan in. If I took him home, my parents would have freaked. Yeah. Kidnapping has that effect on people. Clark, why did you break him out if they were only keeping him there for observation? Look, I didn't have a choice. They were treating him like a lab rat. It was terrible. Clark, you abducted a minor. They'll trace him to you and then to me. We're both in a serious amount of trouble here. I shouldn't have involved you. I'll find some place else to hide him. Ryan's staying here. At least for tonight. Tomorrow, I'll talk to my lawyers in Metropolis, see what our options are. I'm sorry. I didn't think this through. I saw him hooked up to those wires. I had to do something. So you staged a one-man prison break? How did you manage to get him out without anybody stopping you? Just lucky, I guess. You're the luckiest guy I've ever met. Jeff, before you do anything, take a look at this. It's a temporary restraining order giving the Kent's custody of Ryan until the situation can be reviewed. You want to try a judicial roadblock? You go ahead. I'll have Clark arrested. You could, but I have a countersuit ready to be filed. The Metropolis DA is very interested in looking into Summerholt's research practices, especially involving minors held under duress. Your move, Doctor. This isn't over. Your rich friend saved you today, Clark. Sheriff, you can't keep doing this. You're gonna die. If you hadn't have screwed up our retirement plan, we wouldn't have to. But now, you're gonna pay. <laughs> How'd you find us? Lana called. Told me what you guys were doing. Clark, you should have called me first. What did you tell the police? The truth. Those guys broke into my house and that you and the quarterback figured it out, tried to be heroes and got in over your heads. What about the... Walking through walls part? I don't think the cops could handle that much truth. Sorry about your desk. I didn't come out here for that, Clark. I came because my friend was in trouble. Thanks. I was trying to protect Amanda. My father wouldn't have raised a finger to help her, but I knew he'd do anything to save his only son. So you took the fall and everything was covered up. Is that really what happened? Is it the truth? The truth is I'd do anything to protect my friends. 